Have you ever had to worry about something as simple as opening the door when you needed to use the restroom? Well, I'm fortunate to have Sonia in my life who is usually there to help open the door and hold it open for me, but without her it's literally impossible to uh, get in and out if there aren't some type of push buttons to open the door and hold it. Well, it's made me a whole lot more aware of what's <laughs> needed. And um, I try and let Ken do as much as he can on his own. And it's, it's hard when things are not accessible to him. Um, and it's a little frustrating for him, it's a little frustrating for me. If I'm in the middle of something and he needs help, then I need to go right away. But um, like he said, it's impossible for him to get in without someone to open the door for him. It, it really takes away a person's independence. And when you're a very independent person, it does not work well. That's what makes it very difficult to depend on somebody else to do everything that you can't do for yourself because you can't stand up and, you know, basically you have one hand. I think that word independence really hits it head on the nail because I was talking to a friend or somebody on the phone just a few days ago and um, I was just saying how much I couldn't or wasn't able to do that I used to be able to do. And this person said, well, Ken, you've lost your independence. And that <laughs> Today is Disability Sunday, and we have a need for an automatic door opener for the handicapped bathroom at the front of the church. On your offering envelope, there is a box marked Special Offering. If you feel led, please help make this need become a reality so those with disabilities don't have to worry about something as simple as opening and closing the bathroom door.